Hello, I'm Bradley, and welcome to my channel. First things first, if you're new here, please subscribe. You don't have to, of course, but it would really help me out in where I'm trying to get my channel to be. Okay, so happy Christmas, happy Christmas season 2022. I want to talk to you about uh, something huge, which we have been getting a lot of hype about this year. And of course, post, um, post sort of COVID, all of the lockdowns and things, it's talked about a lot more, which is fantastic. But yet, actually, when we try to put ourselves in that situation, we're not necessarily so good at it. So it's our well-being. It's our mental health, good mental health. Now, of course, it's Christmas. Let's gift our well-being too. Now, what do I mean by that? Christmas, I don't know if it's if it's the same. It, it is for a lot of people I know, but I don't know if it's the same for every single person. But for me, Christmas is amazing as it is. And I absolutely love it. It's one of my most favorite magical times of the year. And it truly is because miracles happen every single day. And miracles really do happen at Christmas, quoted from one of my favorite Christmas films. But of course, all of that magic and putting that together really does take a lot of time. It takes a lot of time, it takes a lot of patience, it takes a lot of hard work, and a little bit of magic to be able to make sure that everything is absolutely ticked off and perfect so you can have the most amazing magical Christmas with your friends, your loved ones, and of course those dear dear figures in our lives which is just so beautiful how Christmas manages to frame family and really pull on those bonds and that true love and everybody magical and everybody really really just amazing around the tree around that lovely family christmas of course a lot of people haven't got that so sometimes number one what we always have to remember at christmas time is that just because we absolutely love it and just because we're really indulged in it and we absolutely love it and it's full of family and grandparents and parents and dear friends and all those treasured relatives for some christmas is a difficult time so number one mental health let's concentrate on that good well-being. Let's concentrate on that and we will revisit the other one back in just a moment. First things first, what I would always suggest everybody to do who's got a lot to organise, start early. Now I know this clip is a little bit late but however of course it is only the 11th of December. So if you're one of those people who rush out on Christmas Eve, do not do that to you because the sheer panic and let's put it this way, the way things move on so quickly in society and in stores and just that consumer choice Let's be honest, by Christmas Eve here in the western part of the world or in the UK, they're already concentrating on the new year. In some stores, I remember last year, they already had Easter stuff out. So do not do that to yourself. If you think that it's too late to start early, it's not. Start now because you've got a good amount of time to be able to get things done. Next, a list. Put yourself a list together. Now, if you're one of those people who absolutely hates sort of anything in writing or anything like that at all and you just like to do it off the top of your head amazing but we can't all be like that so number one be traditional and take a pen and paper and jot yourself a note pour yourself a nice beverage this evening and put yourself your christmas list your to-do list of what you've got to do to get things done write people's names down perhaps write some gift ideas so when you go into a store number one you're also looking after your budget because of course this year has been financially squeezed for all of us especially here in the uk i know america and the western world and all of that part of uh the whole globe um with pressures of costs cost of living increase and one thing or another so really do look after your budget look after those pennies and the pounds look after themselves but of course having that list really really does help number one it helps you stay and keep a cool head it doesn't give you that unnecessary stress if you know what you're looking for you're also going to be looking after your wallet or your purse as well so write yourself a list all right next let's move on make time for you now that may seem simple and you may think oh i've got far too much to do yep okay i've told you to start early but it's not so early you may think actually it is you've got a good amount of time don't leave it until christmas eve then write yourself a list however take a break sometimes of course we know a lot goes on there's a lot of gatherings there's friends coming together you're finishing up work there's gifts to buy there's trees to trim there's lights to hang there's so much fun to be had make time for you because this time of year only happens once and you know what unfortunately it does tend to go quite quickly so make sure you grab every magical moment hold it dear hold your loved ones dear and near and get in touch with friends and make time for you so you may have a really really busy schedule but even though it's just a lunch perhaps it's a bit of an hour away from work can you catch up with an old friend can you can you give a loved one a call or more importantly can you take the afternoon off and do some festive christmas shopping grab a festive drink and make merry and really enjoy this holiday season. 
next. Now, this may be a little bit off beaten track, but what I really do want to mention here is Christmas time is a perfect time to reconnect on lost and fallen bonds from people and friends. Only this year, I've met up with a really, really cool friend of mine, and it has been years since school since I've actually got in touch with this person. I happened to see them. It was a really good mate. He was actually my best friend at school, and actually, it's been amazing for the last couple of months to catch up and really just have a good laugh. This time of year does weird and amazing and wonderful things. It's always full of magic. There is always something amazing around the corner. So what I want to say to you for your mental health, your, your well-being, is sometimes take a moment, take a breath, and open your eyes out to all the incredible things what this season has. Take a moment to look at the Christmas lights. Take a moment to take in all of that buzz, that atmosphere, that flair in your local town centre, or even where we live. If you go for a quiet walk, take in the scene, take in the moment, because Christmas truly does have a magical feel. And I always say that actually when it's on its way and it's it's early December, mid-December, that kind of Christmas magic sweeps in and it really does touch the most unusual places. So you really do kind of just switch off, take a moment for yourself, take a walk, bring clarity and enjoy the right here and now and enjoy the life you're living right now. Don't worry about next year in 2023. Enjoy the Christmas season. Next. This year has been really pressured for a lot of us, and I know as we go into the Christmas season, a lot of people will be worried about how they will manage next year, and I know that they will be worrying about different things going on, whether that be loved ones, whether that be family, whether that be paying the bills, whether that be relationships. The thing is for that, it's a really difficult sort of subject to approach in just a one-hit wonder, and I really did wish I had an answer for that. But what I would like to take a moment is that actually in prayer, in the dear Lord above, but actually, I pray for you who is watching this. I pray for you that you enjoy good health over the Christmas season. I pray for you that you have an amazing new year and an abundant, happy time coming ahead for you. I pray that there will be good success and I pray that there will be happiness and wonder and most of all, good health for you and your family going forward. This Christmas season is so special and Christmas so amazingly frames so beautifully everything what is amazing in this life. If you haven't connected with friends, if you haven't connected with family for a long time, be sure to this Christmas, because at the end of the day, and I know this is a solemn note, nobody knows what will happen from one year to the next. To be honest with you, we don't know what's going to happen in this world from one day to the next. But if I hear a lot of people say, oh, next Christmas, or I can't wait for the Christmas season to be over. Really? I know a lot of people have different things and of course a lot of bad memories sometimes associated and of course grief with Christmas. This is the second Christmas without my dear Nan who is my world and I absolutely adore her and love her so much. But as I recently watched a Christmas film that actually we never lose anybody. If we hold them with love in our heart they'll always be there forever. So I know she would want me to enjoy this Christmas season. So if you're going through grief my heart goes out to you. Try to hold on to the magic of this time of the year and think of that person with a love and with a smile and they'll always be with you deep in your heart. Christmas is a most magical, wonderful time of the year. Make sure you be kind to yourself. I hope you've really enjoyed this clip. I really hope you do. If I've missed anything, please, please leave the comments for me down below. God bless. Take great care of yourself. Merry Christmas. Enjoy the season. And until next time, I'll be seeing you all then. Bye now.